didn't hear you come in. Why is he doing this? <laughs> Just because people making it right, and then this monkey. How close can we get to this monkey having sex with this woman? <laughs> Oh, you are astounding. What are the actual <laughs> I don't know. He took him off of somebody who was sleeping, I think. Oh. 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 Welcome to No One Can Know About This, a podcast where we play every Final Fantasy. I'm Jeff Ekman. And I'm Ryan Kazmiski. And here we go, season four, episode 20. Yeah, this is the the date episode. Yeah, we're, you've all been waiting for it. We got the keystone, but uh, first we're going to stay a night at the hotel. <laughs> That's right. The haunted hotel. That's right. Yeah. I mean, we're halfway through the gold saucer. Mm-hmm. We, you know, That's where we found the keystone. We saw a Chocobo Racer 2 last week. Yep. Oh, yeah, this is the one where we watched that terrible play. Yes. That doesn't seem to have anything to do with I anything. Love the play. Yeah. Get excited for I, the like, play. Unlike in 6, that opera that was, like, so thematically linked to everything, yeah, this for, play this is, is like... so, like... This play is so just, I, like, nothing. I think we point out it's, like, a missed opportunity to just be the play from 6. Yeah, or, like, to be, be the story the from story one of the other from, games. Yeah, 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 but anyway, we're here in the battle arena in the gold saucer. Mm-hmm. Let's get going. Uh, so we got the keystone. We need the keystone in order to get into the ancient temple. We don't know where the ancient temple is. Yeah. We gotta figure really. out how to wake the up the sleeping like, forest in Bone City. Well, then again, when we were in the Bone City, the guy was like, the ancient temple is like south of here between this and Right, that. right. I think that Bone City thing is gonna be further down the road. Yeah, I like Bone City. Just call it what it is. I Fuck gotta, City. I gotta spend all the time I can in Bone City. I probably, who am I kidding? I spent all the time I'm going to in Bone City. I don't know. I'm going to spend some more time in Bone City. So we're back in the main lobby of the Gold Saucer. Yeah. We take another look at the You Are Here map. Mm-hmm. And it, like, uh, has, like, a nice note yeah, like, about here's how some, awesome it's going to be. Some things to enjoy. And it's signed by the Shinra. As though they own the Gold Saucer, I guess. Although I thought Dio owned it. It did. Or maybe it's just an official endorsement. Well, maybe it's is like... Is Dio the boss? Well, the Dine was the boss, and then Dio was the owner. He's the own, yeah. yeah, I don't His know. His statue is on top of it. Wait, the Shiver Corporation owns the fucking casino? I feel like they own everything. Man. Maybe it's part ownership with Shinra. Like, they co-owners... Yeah, I just meant it could be like the book quote, like, you know, the jacket quote for the place. Like, oh. This place is going to be better. It's going to be amazing. We love it. Shinra. We put our stamp of approval. Yeah. I feel like they invented ownership and are just telling everyone that this is what it is. <laughs> this is what it is. It's us. It's and our, everyone else is going stuff. like, everything is terrible since Shinra told us that they own They own everything. <laughs> I mean, what's in the box? Like, we need to know what question marks are yeah we still don't even know what the prizes are that we want from getting all the gp i know it's like you're gonna have to get so much gp but you don't even know what for there's a few things it could be how are we going to awake the sleeping forest we're gonna find that harp and then we're gonna go back and use it right somewhere in the world is a harp yeah okay oh the tram's out of order (laughs) what is this guy i'm really sorry I'm afraid you won't be able to leave until it's fully repaired. You'll have to go back in and gamble more. So right now the casino's doing the most fucked up predatory practice that a casino possibly ever could. They're doing that move that Don Rickles does in the movie Casino where he's like, oh, the plane is broken. So you can't leave with all of the money that you just won from us. You're going to have to go back and hang out and do something while you wait (laughs) for the plane to be fixed. I know. Let's stay at the hotel. They know me here. I'll go talk to them. They know the cat that rides a... This is where we met him, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll let you know when the repairs are complete. Sweet. So we go to stay at the, like, haunted hotel. We usually don't get the chance oh, to be together Oh, god like this. damn it, I was hoping something would happen in this fucking haunted hotel. Yeah. 
I remember last time you came in, you were like, we got to see what's here. And you paid GP. And I was like, don't waste the GP. Yeah. And, and you it was sleep, just an You don't even get to go into the room. You right. just wake up back in the lobby. Well, now we're going ha- to hang out in the lobby at the very least. We go to the rooms too now. Nice. And also, Kate Sith finally mentions like, hey, guys, I don't even know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Maybe you should let me know because it's getting really weird. Yeah. <laughs> Cloud, how about it? Can you tell us what happened so far? I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> wasn't here at the beginning. So great. I've been here since the beginning, and I still don't know what the hell's going on either. Yeah, all right. Baron's speaking my language. Cloud, the hell is going on? Come on, tell us. It's time to make clear all of this insane nonsense. It gives you the option to either say, all right, I'll try to explain it, or I'm tired. Yeah, just like, eh, nah. I'm tired from just the questions that you're asking me. (laughs) (laughs) It could say I'm tired. Oh, man, that is tempting, isn't it? It is. All right, give it a shot, though. I want to hear his activity. Yeah, 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 let's see what you got, Cloud. We're going after Sephiroth. Yeah, that I do. Sephiroth must be in search of the promised land. Uh Uh-huh. And oh right, and what the fuck is the promised land? I've already I, forgotten. Is about that not that. the temple of the ancients or the ancient forest? I think it, maybe it is the forest. Uh, no, it's maybe it's the life stream. I, I, don't know. I, I I'm not sure. I think it might be the life stream. I think you're right. The promised land. The promised land. In the promised land. A land full of Mako energy, or at least that's what Shinra believed. <laughs> I don't know if it actually exists. Come on, <laughs> Cloud, you're such an idiot. I think he's being pretty real here. The Satra has returned to the promised land. A land that promises boundless happiness. Satra? That could some kind of disease? He really? He, come Barrett, on, man. Barrett, 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 you knew you've this. You've been here for these talks. Hey, this one you know, Barrett. You went to fucking Cosmo Canyon and, and what took the mushrooms ancient. by the by the fire. Yeah, you, you took come peyote on. <laughs> and you saw the visions. That's what the ancients call themselves. Hey, didn't you listen to the elders at Cosmo Canyon? Yeah, exactly. Right? You don't know where the promised land of the ancients is. You search and travel until you feel it. Like you just know. You... (laughs) (laughs) She's like a promised land. You don't know until you know. Mm -hmm. Eris, can you feel it too? I think so. So, Sephiroth is traveling the world because he's in ser- searching for the promised land? Is that it? Probably. That, and one other thing he's searching for. The Black Materia. I heard from Dio that a man in a, in a black cape was looking for the Black Materia. So everybody's kind of wondering what they know and what they don't know so far. Mm-hmm. Turns out they don't really know anything. Right. Red is asking about number tattoos. You know, of course. My tattoo is the number 13. How did you get that tattoo? Wait a minute. Ojo, put put it on me. Everything else was just war scars. But the number was (laughs) done by Ojo. (laughs) That's even more fucked up. I'm like... It was also a war scar, but some people, they did... Oh my god. (laughs) They put these numbers on my arm. Oh, dude. All right. (laughs) So there are at least 13. You know, I think Ojo did something to those men in the black cage. You don't fucking say. What the fuck, Eris? We're still not at a point where... Red doesn't have a black cape. No, but if Hojo is just labeling all his experiments, you know, it's right. like he's not so done very many. there's 13 experiments. He's been doing things to black capes. There's clones in the world. There might be clones of Sephiroth, which means that maybe the Sephiroth that we ran into, who was like, who the fuck are you, is not the same clone of Sephiroth that we ran into. Possibly, yeah. From our past. You know, I think you're following it perfectly. You're about where I've always... Yeah, that's what yeah. you're right. I don't know. Right? That's about where I'm at. But I don't know what that has to do with Sephiroth, though. That's why I think we should go after Sephiroth himself. Good plan, Eris. What the fuck does she think we're doing? I don't know. (laughs) Like, all of a sudden, everyone is going, I've suspected this whole time that we're not really following Sephiroth, but I just didn't say anything? What are they mean? Like, (laughs) we are going after Sephiroth himself. 
It's all just too damn confusing. Uh huh. I'm sorry, forget it. God, well, they do this all the fucking time. I think I'm tired. I'm going to bed now. What was that all of a sudden? What? That's it? I'm going to bed? Yeah, I love that like, the character. Like, okay, here's a note I just want to make uh -huh. just to put a point on it. Like, yeah, yeah. In this game, the plot is confusing as fuck and doesn't really make sense, but ha over half of the characters are going, like, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> like, all, like, it really there's is. a couple who are like, wait, I think this is important. We should do it. They're like, I think like, whatever. <laughs> and we know that they have these scenes where they're like, I think this is going on, and other people are like, I think. I'm I just mean, saying, I love that they're yeah, discussing. Yeah. Is this confusing? Yeah. This is confusing. Confusing. It is, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just loving this whole thing. We're in yeah. the fucking haunted mansion. Now we all we gotta do is take action. We're starting tomorrow. Wait, we're starting what? This conversation like illuminates nothing. <laughs> it is so like, the, what did they land on? They well, decided... at the end there, they were like, but wait, what about the black materia? Uh, anyway, let's all go to bed. So we were going after Sephiroth, and then we had a big conversation where we decided to go after the right Sephiroth. course of action is to go after <laughs> Sephiroth. Yeah. What have we been doing, Barrett? Yeah, we've been taking action from. Jump. We've been taking action for so many hours. We've been taking action since we blew up that reactor. Nobody knows or is being clear about what the tattoos mean or who... Well, those are Hojo experiments. So yeah. that indicates that all the clones, as they're called in this iteration of the game, they're all Hojo experiments, just like Red was. Mm -hmm. And they've all got black cloaks because they're clones of Sephiroth. Which doesn't make any fucking sense. No, it doesn't, because some of them are like little kids, and <laughs> some, you know, they're not all like, you know, we run in, whenever we run into Sephiroth, he looks like Sephiroth, and he, you know, he's not like falling over and dying. Right, no, it, right. He flies. Well, and then when we fight him, we fight Genova. Yeah. Instead of him. Mm-hmm. And there's Genova, it, you know, Hojo just injects everything with Genova. Yeah, that's his... <sighs> Is everything powder? I'm number thirteen. Oh Am no! Am I going to go mad too? Oh, this is. So I guess those black cloak guys are—they've—they've they've slowly gone crazy. Like they might not have started that crazy, mm -hmm. and that because he was taking notes, and he's like, they just won't shut up about this reunion. Well, what about what the the, the guy in the pipe who was sick with the number two on him? Well, whenever we can get back to Midgar, we gotta try to find that. We gotta guy. talk to that guy. I don't know what Hojo did to you, but you've been all right so far, right? We'll just keep a close eye on you, and if you turn, we'll fucking kill you. <laughs> it'll be sad, but we'll dig a little grave. We'll maybe even make a tombstone. We'll pretend it's like a real funeral, what? but it'll be a dog funeral. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, but... And she's like, be strong. And he's like, but but I... Stop it. Stop it, Red the 13th. Be strong. What, what's the Count Chocula voice? How do you do it? Hey, hey, Seed! <laughs> Let's go back to our rooms! <laughs> How do you do the Count Chocula voice? Is <laughs> an amazing question. Oh, I almost want to post that to Yahoo Answers just to mail it myself to McElroy's. <laughs> So we go into the up into our hotel room, mm -hmm. and Eris is there. Which, by the way, is a shitty looking hotel room. Like well, this does not look like a fun. Ghosts. I know, but like it just looks unpleasant. It's a haunted hotel room. Hee <laughs> hee. Cloud is so aloof. He's like he's like is something wrong? <laughs> God, he just wants to be left alone, doesn't he? You wanna go on a date? What? Cloud, get on the program. Uh, da a, a date. <laughs> Or haven't you ever gone on one? Well, not, well, a, not real a real one. one. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, at 16, he joined fucking Soldier. When was he going on dates? Just a mixed up kid. So I hear that there's many different people who you could wind up on this date with mm -hmm. that we're about to go on with Eris. Yeah. And I assume that means that when you come into this room that it would be somebody else that's here waiting for you saying he he. Yeah, I think, well, I don't know if they'd say he he, but like, <laughs> you know, like Barrett, you can go, you can get a date with Barrett, for instance. And all this depends on those like, weird esoteric you know, dialogue options all, that we thought meant nothing. Yeah. And like, you know, when we had to cross dress, like there's many different permutations of like items you can get if 
if you do mm-hmm. like weird different things. And it's like, so every little decision you made <laughs> somehow led to this, but there is like no way for you to know which one you would be leading to or that the moment is coming. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a cool little like clock. I think it's definitely for when you're replaying it to mm-hmm. get a different outcome. Well, or and it's also like, you know, how you can like save Sid and Six. It's like one of right. those things where like one of your friends might get something different right. and you would all be like, what? What the fuck? That's amazing. Who, you got Barrett? Yeah. Let me show you the ropes. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. It's happening fast. He's got, She's gonna lead him by the hand to the she's other She's like, room. we're going out to have, have day tonight. Yeah. Tonight's enchantment night. All the attractions are free. Oh my god, what? I just realized something, because, like, I remember, I thought, because when we were here the first time, I was like, do we go on a date or something? <laughs> I feel like she's like an Omi from that time we made the deal about the date in the beginning. Uh-huh. And then we got on that fucking, like, merry-go-round, and I was, we just sat right. in it the whole time, and I was like, is, I, is this what the is date? this? Yeah, we were looking out the... I bet we're gonna go ride the merry-go-round again, and they'll talk. And yeah. look out the window. Or the, the... <laughs> Ferris like, wheel, yeah. Yeah, the Ferris wheel, sorry. Like, what? Yeah. That's totally a date scene that had no date in it. Yeah. And we're just sitting there going, like, uh. And you can, like, lean <laughs> forward or look out the thing. That was super weird. How about it, you two? There's going to be an entertaining show in Event Square. Yes. Fuck yes. Come on. Oh, we were so go. disappointed when we got here and gambling. It turns out gambling still sucks. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> we were like, everything's closed. So we finally go into the big theater which we had mm-hmm. seen many many episodes ago yeah and this time the show is on yeah this is how i feel whenever i get to las vegas i'm like oh it all looks so fun and then you start doing stuff and you're like and it's oh uh i don't <laughs> in vegas. I, like it. I hate blackjack i like don't like gambling at all i love both of those things. i just don't like gambling very much well, so it's totally for like... you it has to have no stakes for it to be thrilling Look, just go to Cirque du Soleil. There's beautiful shows, just like we're at at the Gold Saucer right now. <laughs> yeah, it's great, just like this show. Look, Cirque du Soleil is a little more impressive than what we're about to see. <laughs> it's just like, I'm going to spend money. It doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I'd well, rather... You should win once, then, then it'll I was, do something for When we you. were there, I was really up for a while. Yeah, well, And then I went down, and yeah. then I was like, well, this is... It, if you had, if you had left up, you would be like Vegas is great, gambling's great, blackjack. Is but if great. I had left up, I would have then sat with you for like thirty more hours at blackjack tables, not playing, and right. then I would have left up. And yeah. I'm like, I don't ever need to do that again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you say that you won't get into gambling, and yet I just watched you get into fake gambling. I know. I'm watching this a few hours ago. I have no. Ex- I'm maybe I'm lying or like. <laughs> Intellectually, when I'm not in it, I know that I don't like gambling, but I, I'm like an addict who's going like, I don't even like heroin. You know, it's, sometimes you do it, and then you're like, this sucks. You know, I, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and then you keep doing it. And 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 you, I just watched you at the Chocobo tracks, like with that needle in your arm. Exactly. No, there's a lot about like the thing that I really love about Vegas is the restaurants. Oh, the food was fucking amazing. All right, you are our hundredth couple today. You two will be the leads in tonight's show. Oh, what kind what? of a <laughs> I just wanted to hang out and have a date. No, no, no. No. It's going to be the best date ever. It's what? It's like a date from TV, Jeff. <laughs> oh, no, it's not hard. It's just play it however you want to, and the rest of the cast will cover up for you. I was going to say, like, oh, I've been to this show before. Yeah, no. It doesn't require an arena this big. (laughs) Just like everything else at the Gold Saucer, the show is like, before you even see it, it's disappointing. (laughs) Like, you have to be in it. They don't even really have a plan. There's almost nobody in the audience. It's going to be fucking improv. Like, (laughs) there's a whole amphitheater for an improv. Yeah, like, there's like like a moment. (laughs) Like an improv fairy tale. It's like, just do whatever you want. And yeah, the, the, the actors, they're pretty good. They do this every night. This sounds like fun. Come on, Cloud. Let's do it. I think moving it closer helped. The side that was close looks more done. Yeah, it's good. The beer can chicken is closer than ever. I We've been editing these episodes today, and I was, I'm hungry trying <laughs> to wait for this chicken to be done. I can't believe it's taking this many weeks. Anyway, not long ago. Long, long ago. The play begins. An evil shadow appeared over the peaceful. Uh, 
<laughs> Excuse me. An evil shadow appeared over the peaceful <laughs> kingdom of Galdia. Princess Rosa was just kidnapped by the evil dragon king, Valvados. What will become of her? A different Rosa, huh? Not from before. Just then, the legendary hero, Alfred, appears. It's I like how it looks like it's an elementary school play. Like, kick me out onto stage. Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred. So Cloud like slides out onto the stage, which is just has sort of a generic green hill with a house on it painted in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's like a man dressed as a knight standing next to him. Who is like the actor that's going to help you along. Yeah, and he's doing the like, let me explain who you are. <laughs> hey, it's hey, your it's line. line. I haven't s read a script, bro. Now, please talk to the king. Walk around and push A button. A big, fat, golden-haired, blue-robed king twirls onto stage. On the peak of the dangerous mountain dwells the evil dragon king, Valvados, who kidnapped Princess Rosa. <laughs> who will you talk to? Can you imagine sitting down to see a show? Like, mm -hmm. you buy a ticket, <laughs> you, they tear it in half, yeah. you go in, you find your seat, mm -hmm. and you sit down, and then you wait for like 15 minutes mm -hmm. for it to start, mm -hmm. and it finally does, and then this is what happens. <laughs> it would almost be like sitting down to listen to a Final Fantasy symphony with a philharmonic orchestra, and then all of us sit there in silence and listen to the game play on the fucking speakers. It would be a disappointment on that level. It would just be like, <laughs> oh man, and this is going to take two hours of my time? <laughs> I already watch like, this at home every day. I mean, it's Hey, Squaresoft is consistent across <laughs> all of time. They manage to be impressive. All of time in all worlds. They manage to be impressive and then just, like, abuse their fans. <laughs> <laughs> this play fucking sucks. It's terrible. I am the great wizard, Vorman. Ooh. What do you wish to know? Ah, the weakness of the evil dragon king. It must be, it must be. Yes, it must be true love. I mean, what were they thinking? The last know. game has like an opera that's like a beautiful over-the-top set piece. <laughs> and in this one, it's sort of the same point in the game in the middle. You come watch like a, a children's, children's show. Play. It's the worst. <laughs> the power of love is the only weapon that can withstand the fangs of the evil dragon king. Uh, this is great. <laughs> No, it isn't. Yeah, so, like, you end up uh, learning the Dragon King's weakness or something, and then they, like, trot the Dragon King out on stage. Mm -hmm. And once in a while, you can choose some dialogue, but it doesn't seem to matter very much. Oh, oh now what's going to happen next? Oh, legendary hero, look! Please help me, legendary hero. No, 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 no. Wait. Please help me, legendary <laughs> hero! Psst, like that? And now, legendary hero, here is what will happen to your beloved. A kiss! The power of true love! Uh-huh. Should I kiss the princess, kiss the king, or kiss the evil dragon king? I'm gonna let you decide. Hmm. I mean, I mean what if it's true love? But I just gotta dragon? say the power of true love, Jeff! <laughs> yes, yes. That's what this play is all about. Do I really love the princess, though? Or do I love... I'm, we might the love evil the dragon. evil dragon. I might love the dragon. I don't think we love the king. But I think that it might be like, this dragon, in order to appease it, I have to show it that I love it. I think that'd be fine. I don't think you can get laid at the end of this if you do everything right, so... I want, a, I want the dragon to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Kissing the Dragon King. It's not like a Bioware game where you're gonna be going like, I wanna kiss the Dragon King, but I dragon also wanna King's fuck like, Eris. what? <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta make sure my meter for Eris doesn't drop too low yeah, exactly. before, the, before the intimacy begins. Yeah, yeah. Man of the Witcher, I fucked everybody. Yeah, I mostly just fucked Yennefer. I fucked them all. So when you kiss the evil dragon king, mm -hmm. it spins around and reveals a beautiful girl. <laughs> Whoa, they were ready for everything. I fucking knew it. <laughs> Thank you, you've released me. From the spell, and I'm back to my normal self. It, uh, yeah, I mean, it tracks about as well as this whole Sephiroth thing has so far, so. <laughs> Sweet, now you and I can go on a date. Yeah, let's get out of here, baby. <laughs> Just leave Eris on stage. Yeah. Wait. Lava's triumphed. Now let's all return and celebrate. Yes, let's, yes, let's. Cloud and the beautiful girl, like, 
yeah, they pirouette off the stage. They like spin around on their toes, leaving Eris alone with That's no the other end of actors the play. and no other. Everyone <laughs> clap. You fucking clap. <laughs> I realized it was bad when we played it, but like watching it again, I hate it. Like I hate it. I hate watching it. Like I want to cut as much of it out of the show as I can. <laughs> Oh, how profoundful the power of love! And so the legendary hero, Alfred, and our story live on happily ever after! Happily ever after! What's this? You can't do this. Oh no. Oh shit. I feel terrible. Did I fuck up my chance to fuck Eris? I don't think you can. I'm saying I don't think so. Did I, just, did I fuck just, it up? She's sad. He's upset. I know, it's... Oh, that, she's still had fun, though. Oh, that was fun. Hey, let's go on the gondola. It's broken. They don't mean the gondola that you get on to get up to the gold saucer. No, this is why I was confused earlier, because you were like, it's a Ferris wheel. And I was like, I think it's a gondola. God, it's so... Because Eris calls it a gondola, I but mean... it's like a... And it's a Ferris wheel, but it's also not, because it's, it's not, not it's like not a, a chair you sit in. It's like a house. Yeah, that on ropes. goes around in a... So, I, more like a roller coaster, but not really. Anyway, we're here in the round square. Welcome to the squared circle. We're gonna go see the date with the date in it this time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's time for... Yeah, yeah. Do oh, please. Here you are, two tickets. Enjoy the sights of the gold saucer. We've already seen it. I like, know. the two <laughs> of us, both, together alone, went in this place and saw it all. I've already seen enough of the gold saucer. <laughs> I wish we didn't ever have to come back here again. No kidding. Remember not to get this too saucy This is the most excited I've been for a date in, like, ten years. <laughs> <laughs> And it's also the worst date I've ever been on, and I've been on some really bad ones. Well, none of them included a kid's show that you had to be the star of. No, no, none of them included that, because I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> I would not take somebody on a date like that. Yeah, for my first date, what I like to do is take them to an improv show and make them get on stage just to see how they do, you know? Oh, nice. Whoa! It's a pretty cool, like, ride to That's be, awesome. like, riding this roller coaster monorail through this fucking Dude, place. look at this. And the lights go oh, on as man. you go through. Yeah, this time it has a beautiful 3D cutscene beforehand. Mm -hmm. And it shows that it is sort of like a monorail thing. It's like right. a hanging roller coaster, this shack. And it's sort of flying through the park. Mm -hmm. But then you cut to the inside of it, <laughs> and it's like slowly doing a Ferris wheel motion. Exactly. Like just kind of turn, you're going <laughs> up and down a little, you know? It's hard to read exactly what the experience it's, is like. It's almost like the cutscene designers and the s scene designers like got different notes yeah. about what what this is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? Oh, we must have just looked at the roller coaster. Oh, I was looking at it, yeah, and then... I, I thought we were on it. I thought we were, like, flying. I was like, that doesn't... Oh, oh look, shit. Wow. What? Oh, that's oh, the shit. joke. I thought the those joke were little, like, <laughs> slot cars. <laughs> No, those were all the chocobos from the virtual chocobo race that's yeah, going on. As we go around, it kind of shows a different vignette from all the different attractions. Mm -hmm. And Eris is like, what's added to this from what we did it before? Are these cutscenes <laughs> and Eris's dialogue going like, oh, hey, look, look at that. <laughs> and Cloud still just sits across from her with his arms folded. Yeah, doing nothing. <laughs> it's so pretty. Man, that is awesome. Look at those fireworks. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then, <laughs> just like out of nowhere... Eris has some shit to talk about. <laughs> First off, it bothered me how you looked exactly alike. What? You remember when we met her mom and she was like, Oh, not a soldier again. Don't break her heart. Uh-huh. Oh, so now she's bringing up this dude all of a sudden? Her ex-boyfriend? Tifa was, was with Zack. Zack's a different thing, right? Well, Tifa knew who he was, but then she was like, I don't know. She seemed like she was lying about it. Two completely different people, but look exactly the same. Wait a minute. So that's I'm, why do she I have like... a clone? Is Cloud a clone, maybe? He could be. Like... He really could be, couldn't he? Like, if he showed up, he's like... I was born out of nowhere, and I know nothing, and I'm an idiot. 
Sounds like a clone to me. Yeah, and they're like, hey, what happened back there? And he's like, I didn't go... Did I go in here? And... <laughs> like, yeah. And then it's like... It's also the the thing of, like, when he flashed with Sephiroth or something, it's like... Yeah, he's that's probably the last memory voice. that he... He also has this voice, though. There's the times universe. where it was like, who are you? And he's like, you don't need to know who I am right now. Don't right, worry. yeah. <laughs> like, disembodied black space <laughs> voice. But right? Like, maybe Zach... And that would also make sense, because, like, she immediately was like, I'm going with this person. I right? have to know who this guy is. Right. And if there were a reason other than, like, I'm just, like, a fun girl who likes hot guys. <laughs> right. If great. it was, like, he looks <laughs> Well, I was already like satisfied with, my... like, her being... It was, like, my ex-boyfriend who I'm hung up on, who's dead or something, was in Soldier, and you're in Soldier. Right, right. Yeah. But maybe it's like, my ex-boyfriend was fucking was, you. Was you. <laughs> <laughs> the way you talk, the way you walk, gesture. I think I must have seen him again. In you. But you're different. Things are different. She just said that we look exactly the same as her boyfriend. <laughs> exactly Which led same. us off on that whole speculation, which <laughs> is not correct. Cloud isn't a clone. Her nope. ex-boyfriend doesn't look exactly like Cloud. And Cloud doesn't even have, like, a follow-up question about this. No. I want to meet you. But I'm right here. I know. I know. What I mean is, I want to know you. I want to meet you. She wants to fuck him in this cart right now, right? Did we just... Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was just a kid and I didn't understand. Maybe you do get to fuck Eris. I mean, that was like a... Uh, like she I mean, was like, I'm sorry. Make love. I mean, if you're reading into it, you could read that we just fucked on that I mean, thing. we might have just gotten a handy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. The gondola. <laughs> it's reasonable. And then there was like yeah. a that shot of the gondola going into a tunnel. <laughs> Look how shitty this gondola is. It's like it's a like fucking a shack. shed. It's like a shack that somebody put together. <laughs> they like this is enough to code. I had fun tonight. Let's go together again. You don't like being with me? That's not it. I'm glad. So she's not like, what is it? Next time we come, let's take our time and go on more rides. Yes. Let's go on more rides. <laughs> Let's go back. Uh, <laughs> Let's go back to the hotel room. I got another ride. ride. I got another ride. I want to go. I on. call it the ancient apocalypse. <laughs> it's gonna end your world and start a whole new one, baby. It's <laughs> It's gonna rock your world, then end it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the time. We better be going. So we go back to the main lobby of the casino, because mm -hmm. the date is over, because, oh, look at the time. Mm -hmm. And Kate Sith is up to some shit. Yeah. There's Cat. Hey, what's Kate Sith doing? Is that the keystone? Hey, Kate Sith. Oh, fuck. Kate Sith is running away with the keystone. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> I don't know! Kate Sith mugs us. Yeah, and, and then we go on a chase <laughs> through the entire casino. Uh, yeah. Going through all this different slides and connectors between all the different arenas. Yep. I went the wrong way. Fuck. Wait, what? Kate Sith? Kate right? Sith is running away with the keystone. Slippery fucker. <laughs> and look, immediately you know, after we were like, oh, we have a spy in our midst, we immediately <laughs> we forgot immediately all about that. We immediately forgot all about it, <laughs> even though we knew exactly who it was. <laughs> So we run out into another one of the, like, lobby areas. Yeah, this is actually where we first met Kate Sith. Yeah, and there's one of the, like, employees who wears, like, a chocobo suit. Yeah. And you can see Kate Sith's arms, like, sticking out on either side of him. It's like a dumb... It's like someone trying to hide behind a lamp. Exactly. You know? He's way wider than the thing that he's hiding behind. Yeah. Where did he go? He's behind the chicken. Oh, duh. I, I, I thought you were choking. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I, thought, I was That's like... Cool. God, it worked on you. Wow, the comedy routine well, worked. You were like, huh, he's not well, here. I was, I was like, this I thought it was him, looks but it's extra just a, weird. Just a chicken. God damn it. I hate that this is recorded. I can't believe you I fell for that. that That's amazing. Recording. You God fell damn for it. that. I mean, I did, but not really. God. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> I didn't know it could even work like that. Wait, 
wait, I was laughing. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. God damn it, I did it again! <laughs> yeah, the next screen over, he's like behind a glass, a piece of glass, yeah. transparent <laughs> glass. And I'm like, where did he go? Yeah, we chase him like into the Chocobo arena and then like out, back out of it down the stairs. Oh my God. You're like this cat on an enormous white fat moogle is. I just, I was oh. like, fucker. What a weird looking Do we get Chocobo. to kill Kate Sith now? Cause come on. Hey, like, well done. And as he runs down the stairs, Sang flies up in the Shinra helicopter, and Kate Sith tosses him the keystone, and he flies off. What a fuck. Yeah, leaving Kate Sith with us. Yes, I was a spy. I was hired by the Shinra. <laughs> I trusted you. I can't believe you. I couldn't help it. How about if we continue like nothing ever happened? <laughs> no way, Cat. You got a lot of guts acting like a friend, but being a spy. <laughs> like, I love that you're literally arguing with, it's a cat. Yeah, I know. Then what are you gonna do? Kill me? More than one way to skin a cat. Let's see how many we can think of. Let's find out how many lives you really got. You'd just be wasting your time if you tried. This body's just a toy anyway. What? Like I said, I thought bluff? it might be a stuffed animal. Is this a bluff? I don't think Is this a, cat? like, go ahead and kill me, see if I care? I'm not even here He's right like, now. It's like it's just a toy. And then they, the and then they like, is like, it. why are you talking about it? <laughs> I love this plot twist. Me like, too. this is about to get so crazy. Like, this might be one of the craziest situations in the game. This reveal the, has us still asking and questions. And the way that Kate Sith justifies staying in your party is so psychopathic. Yes. And it just kind of happens, and nobody even, like, talks about it, really. <laughs> My real body's at Shinra headquarters in Midgar. I'm controlling no, this toy cat what? from there. Don't fuck with my head like this. <laughs> it's a toy cat. Wait, no, that... So you're from Shinra? Who? Who are you? Tell me. So the best that I can figure out is that there's somebody at Shinra headquarters who's got like a control panel that he's using in well, order no, to we remotely see later control... that he somehow does it like with his mind. Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> But what he's doing is controlling a remote control cat. So the cat's not a real cat. The it's cat, a, at least, is remote control. The cat control. is a ro robot. Is the Moogle real? Or is he's the Moogle... riding a Moogle that spits out fortunes. Is the Moogle also a robot that the cat is controlling? That's what I wonder. Where it's like, if you are controlling a thing that's then got a bunch of controls to control. You know what I mean? Right. Like, if you were using, like, joysticks to move a robot arm to drive a car. Right. Exactly. You know, like, like it's probably pretty hard to do. It seems complicated. Yeah, like the. And I, I just, I mean, what was the purpose of this robot? Why does it look like this? It's a toy. Is it a toy? Like, why is it a cat? Shinra was making why toys. Why would Shinra make this? And why would it be used for this? Like, somebody in the military department was like, "I got a use for that toy." This Spy terrorist it. cell is gonna let this robot toy into their group, which worked. It totally worked. It's really funny. It, <laughs> right in if you know what the Moogle is. Well, Don't I mean, know if I it's a puppet or what. I feel like he has a what. zipper on his back. Like, he I feel does. Like he's like stuffed. Or it could be a guy in a suit. It could be. Maybe it's a Shinra a, employee. Oh my god! Underneath, underneath being controlled there, by a robot, like the cat that's just being jerks controlled on him. by the yeah. Shinra employee, and he's just sweating in there, just going like, "Ah, this is god. a nightmare of logic." <laughs> Whoa! I can't tell you my name. We're not getting anywhere. What do you mean? We just I got, love that, that their was plan a huge revelation. <laughs> was they were like they'd never trust another person from Shinra, but they would trust. But a if cat. we send a fucking like, uh, like cat, a on, a cat on a stuffed animal, they're not gonna know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna let it in. Let it in the group. See, I told you talking won't do any good. So can't we just continue our journey? What is Kate? No, this is a hilarious idea. Kate, I've got to meet the real you someday. Like, you think I've got I'm to... joking? All right, yes, I'm a Shinra employee. But we're not entirely enemies. Something bothers me. I think it's your way of life. <laughs> I, just, I just want to ruin... He's like a CIA what was it that agent they used who, to like, say about some weed and, like, ate LSD and was like... <laughs> hippies. Not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> You don't get paid, you don't get praised, yet you still risk your lives and continue on your journey. Seeing that makes me... It just makes me think about my life. I don't think I'd feel too good if things ended the way they are now. 
So Kate Sith totally betrayed us, but saw just enough of our attitude about the world to be like, I respect this, and I think something weird is going well, on. Well, it's almost like whoever is behind the controls of Kate Sith is somebody who has just never seen anyone do anything like good before at all, ever. Right. And he's seeing it for the first time and going like, this is interesting. <laughs> you can do it like this? I mean, I'm still going to do what I'm And he's still told. about to do some awful shit to us, <laughs> even still. Man, whoever they got at working at Shinra headquarters is good. Wait, so this cat finished betraying us, and then as soon as the betrayal was done was like, I mean, I can't live with myself for having betrayed you. You know the convoluted setup in movies where it's like someone is pretending to like fall in love with someone else, but then they really do? Right. And then they try and always have to convince him it wasn't at first, but then it was love. Right, but he still finished stealing the keystone and giving it away before this Right, because I think he's, you know, he's like, you know, I'm in a building at Shinra and they had a fucking gun to my head and I had to do it. All right. <laughs> and so on and so he's on. He's like, but they left the room now and I'm sitting here alone <laughs> at my computer, I promise. <laughs> We can trust him now. Still, either way. Uh, he'll never tell the truth. Once a spy, yes, always a God. spy. Thank God. I was half... From the games we just played, I was I really expecting them to go like, well, Well, you, you are cute, <laughs> and we do want you as part of the team. I believe you. We can't go on with someone like that. Come on, get real. Just as I thought, talking won't make a bit of difference. You might as well just kill me now. But I'm a toy. I prepared something in case this happened. Why don't you listen to this? Is this some compromise? Papa Tifa! Hey, 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 that's Marlene! Hey, it's the Flower Lady! Flower Lady! Wait, this is a walkie-talkie? And a radio. Kate Sith is, like, playing over his radio that he has Marlene hostage. Yeah, he's taken Marlene, Barrett's daughter, hostage, and he's going, like... <laughs> Let me Let me hang in your out. group where the kid dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, fuck you, Kate Sith. So you have to do as I say. Dude, Kate Sith. How all... did I not remember this being what Kate Sith does? You're the lowest. I didn't want to do this using dirty tricks and taking hostages. You know, you know the deal. But this is how it is. No compromises. No half measures. So why don't we continue as we did? This guy is sick. This is fucked up. I'm he gonna wants to still he, hang he, out with us? He dances up. Tomorrow's the Temple of the Ancients, right? That is the scariest motherfucking attitude oh I've ever God. seen. I know where it is, so I'll tell you later. Oh like, my God. Like, he just looked at a stuffed animal. Yes. A cute stuffed mm -hmm. animal just looked us in the eyes after we were like, we can't trust you, and played audio of a little girl he's taken hostage. After it revealed that it was remote-controlled <laughs> yeah. by somebody in another building, it had yeah. audio of, like, our daughter. Yeah. And then he just goes like, well, tomorrow's gonna be a great day, right? Right. Like, better get some rest, I'll see you in the morning, They're, they're like, do you really want to turn on me now? <laughs> oh my god. Time to trust me now that I've revealed that I have hostages. Was I just never paying attention at this far into the game? You might have literally been like, Yeah, Kate Sith, come on with us, I forgive you. Like, you might have literally done that. Yeah. And then just, like, not understood the rest of it because you were like, The Cloud and the gang will accept I them. know where it is, so I'll tell you later. Like, the whole now time... Now we have to have Kate Sith in order to get the oh, fucking thing. God. The whole time you've known where the ancient temple is and we've been running around doing Of course we'll races. get there after the Shinra, but you'll have to deal with that. What a cock! Why are we letting him... Why are we even keeping why him... Why are we letting him right, live? Because he's got Marlene. Well, we're stuck. We'll have to do what he says. I wonder if Marlene is alright. I wonder what happened to Mom. She sounded alright. That's right. so distressing. Like, <laughs> this fucking stuffed animal cat... So then we wake back up in our room. I guess we just go to, went to bed. Yeah, in the haunted mansion. Yeah, we didn't run around and wake everyone up and go, everybody, <laughs> here's the situation, <laughs> like emergency just, meeting. Yeah, we go back to the inn. What is that? The painting? No, the cupboard with the eyes. I think those, those are handles. Whoa. <laughs> like, you would pay to sleep in a place like this that has, like, torture devices in it? I would. Yeah, I know you would. <laughs> Shouldn't have, I, should, I should have known the answer to that question before I asked it. 
You're like, why the fuck do I even hang out with this guy? <laughs> well, I'm just like, oh, hardcore horror, like a thing that sounds awful, but is like actually safe. Yeah, he'd be into that. Yeah. I don't want it to be actual torture. No, I know, but it would be, yeah, no. It like would Don be the novelty Corneo's of basement it. is not. You'd be like the Luxor. No, you'd. No. The Vegas Hotel level of theme, but of torture. If I could stay at Mandy, the hotel, I would. God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You guys remember that Nicolas Cage movie Mandy from at this point quite a while ago? I think we had just seen it yeah, recently I think in we October it. of that time. It's a crazy movie. What a horrifying <laughs> idea. What took you so long, Cloud? Oh, yeah. About the Temple of the Ancients. I think if we take the tiny Bronco east towards the sea, we should be able to find it. Okay. Well, then, shall we get going? Who's going to go? We probably shouldn't tell Barrett about this situation with Cat. I want to go. I'm going for sure. Um, who should we take? You want to take Tifa? Tifa, Aerith. You want the love triangle? Yeah, let's take let's the love the, triangle. The, the love triangle party. <laughs> I really don't think there's a better option. And then once Aerith is gone, we'll just get Barrett and we'll have the other love triangle. What do you mean when Aerith is gone? It's rough, I know. <laughs> Oh shit, the Platinum Fist. Fuck yeah. Then see you later. Wait, Kate Sith is gonna hang out at the haunted house? Ooh, that smells good. Dude, it... Is it cooked through? I think so, come look at this. I think that beer can chicken's finally ready. It was, yeah. Oh yeah, that looks good. Like, right? Yeah. Like, it's pretty... Oh yeah, that's done. It smells great. Yeah, it looks like it's shredding apart real nice. Yeah, it's juicy. I did want the music to stop. Mmm. Man. Yeah. That is so tender. Yeah, just grab some chunks off of it. It falls apart. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh! It's so fucking I'll tell you what chicken it tastes. It's fucking destroying this bird. Yeah, I mean, we're easily gonna rip through this whole thing. I mean, when are we gonna be breeding our own chickens, you know? I gotta say, I am like so involved with this game right now. It's gotten to a point where I'm like, oh shit, and I really love Sid up, so much. Yeah. yeah, I feel like the totality of the intention of the journey you Yeah, on, like I think we're approaching the end of the first loop. Right. <laughs> Which is the whole first disc. Yeah. I mean, I'm just like more and more and more invested in liking the characters. That's what I'm most impressed with, is like, I really like the characters. Yeah. I like I, I think there's no way to say that they didn't step up the character work in a huge way. Yeah. Like, even yeah. with the bad translation, it still comes across. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this whole first disc has been like, we're traveling the world and picking up people who are like, man, Shinra has really ruined my entire life. Yeah. And then hearing about how it's happened and been going like, man, the world sucks right now. <laughs> I also love, I don't know if you were acting or what, but speculating about whether or not Cloud might be a clone. Yeah, no, I don't, that's one of the things is like, as much as I've loved this game, I've never had like an under, I've always known like something weird going on with Cloud. I don't know what, and then he has some, he seems like he has some kind of connection with Sephiroth, but I don't, because to be honest, the story so far is way more coherent than I thought it would be. Like, I really thought by this point we would be like, I don't understand a fucking thing. Like, not a single thing. Like, it's still I don't confusing, understand but purpose, like, but I like it's get confusing, it. but like, I at least know what their goals are. Like, Cloud is like, we gotta stop Sephiroth, it's complicated, right. but like, let's, that's the goal. Alright. And that's episode 20. A lot went down in that episode. Yeah, we're closing in on the end of disc one. I know, the, the Temple of the Ancients is going to be some serious shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, yeah, it just keeps getting better and better from here. Yeah. And then disc two is like completely nuts. I love disc two. <laughs> disc two is like the most fun. It's so weird. I feel like we just started a new season of the show almost. <laughs> like, I was going like, man, this season yeah. is getting to be long. And then like we got to this part and I'm like, and it's a new game. <laughs> Everything makes no sense. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Kate Sith, what are you? So look forward to the Temple of the Ancients next week. Oh, should we enter the live stream? Oh yeah, let's walk down the stairs in the back of our minds to the basement of Supreme Peace. Let's do it.
Mm, it was a long stairway, but I when you find Supreme Peace at the bottom mm-hmm. of it, it's totally worth the walk. It's nice. It's been a while, you know. It's like, hey, Supreme Peace, what's up? Is, is <laughs> <laughs> so in this Supreme Peace, I see there's a message. Oh, I, I think it's from somebody we've heard from before. That's the sense I'm getting from this message. Mm-hmm. Okay, the message reads... Scott Hughes' book of horror short stories, The Last Book You'll Ever Read, is coming out from Sinister Stoat Press on September 17th, and it's available for pre-order now on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. It will also be available as an audiobook on Audible. He has a poetry collection called The Universe You Swallowed Whole, forthcoming from Finishing Line Press in February 2020 as well. Pre-sales for that book will begin in late October, For more details on these books, as well as links to his other published books, visit www.writescott.com. That's W-R-I-T-E-S-C-O-T-T dot com. Oh, we have heard from him before. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad those th- we have some more information on his work. His last message was telling us about this book of horror short stories, the last book you'll ever read. Mm-hmm. And it was telling us that it didn't have a date yet, but now it's got the date. It's September 17th. Mm-hmm. It's available for pre-order now on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. That's a wonderful. Th- thank you so I, much for getting in touch, Scott. I, I want to read the book. Yeah, I mean, that sounds awesome. If you're looking for like something new to read and maybe want to support an author who's ju- you know just coming out with some new stuff Mm -hmm. uh, that would be yeah like that shakespeare guy's been around for a while Mm -hmm. somebody new (laughs) can we get stop reading those old broken shakespeare horror stories yeah those horror stories that (laughs) shakespeare wrote anyway uh (laughs) thank you so much to scott hughes good luck with the book launch good luck with the second book of poems in february of 2020 thank you so much for the message and the support Mm -hmm. and let's get the hell out of here yeah and we're back. If you're interested in the live stream message, just email nocatpodcast at gmail.com. That's N-O-C-K-A-T. It doesn't have to be an advertisement. It can be a message that you want. It can be whatever you want us mm-hmm. to say. They're $25 a piece. We do it all through PayPal because we're independent. And uh, yeah, just send an email to nocatpodcast at gmail.com and we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. And with that, please rate and review us on mm-hmm. Apple Podcasts or wherever the fuck you want. Yeah, like just wherever you want. Don't let anyone tell you you can't review it there. And if they do, if they, you do you tell them buy them. Yeah, you you know don't say anything. Just don't break eye contact. Stare at them and start walking towards and them. And do it. Yeah, and then just do it. Just review it. Review our show on like on their arm. And if they try to give you some shit for it, just show them you have a knife. You know. Brandish the knife, they'll shut the fuck up. Yeah. Also go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash nocat, that's N-O-C-K-A-T. Yes. And thank you so much, as always, to the Patreon supporters that we do have. Mm-hmm. We yeah. really appreciate you yeah, guys. Yeah, it's, it's really, we say it, it's amazing. It is amazing. Get in touch with us. Send us emails and tweets and Facebooks and mm-hmm. shit. We're at No Cat Podcast. If you haven't figured out how to get in touch with us at this point, you obviously don't want to. Um. <laughs> wow, we're getting a little aggressive in this end- outro. I didn't mean for that to come off as aggressive so much as just like a fact. Do we need some kind of like what kind of dessert would like bring us bring us back? Down? Yeah. What what should the dessert be? Maybe something um, really potent, like like, a, like with too much dark chocolate. Yeah, like and a then d- super also. dense. What are really those dense, yeah. super? What about just a fucking brownie? Yeah, but the kind that you take a couple bites of and then you're like, I. Wow, I'm yeah, really sick. Like almost fudge. Yeah, I want to throw up after I eat this. You All know, right. I gotta purge this negative energy. Yeah, let's do it. Let's eat the vomit brownie. <laughs> That's what the dessert <laughs> is now. Everybody, 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 and they call the best animal control person in the city. Nancy, Nancy. The best Hi. animal control person in the city. Oh, Holy shit, Mexican orange soda is amazing. <laughs> it's really Mexican fucking soda. delicious. Can we just have Mexican sodas instead? Not if you're a close supporter. But I mean, we must have the technology here in America to make Mexican soda. Yes. Well, there are people who want to grow more corn than anybody wants. I know, I know. And you're right, that makes perfect sense. Yes. I'd be like, don't let that guy in our lobby. Yeah, Nobody can see him. Come through the service. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
These monkeys are criminals? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. Mongo Pygmaeus. He has a <laughs> book of, mo of the monkey criminal the sewers. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Hypothetical situation. It's Easter. You think it might be <laughs> What? <laughs> the birthday is cute, then it gets bigger. The kids lose interest. And then one night, you flush it down the toilet. That's ridiculous. So he assumes that the fucking monkey came from the goddamn sewers instead of one of the people brought him? Yeah, yeah. Now, have they... Have they Forgotten about the robbery and whether or not that's connected to this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>